<sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co conspirator has now? clearly stashed his illicit. So are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever. Drax, let it go. Nobody's stashing units. We shall see. Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Let's make this quick. What do you want, Quill? Yeah, I'm good. See what uh what can I upgrade? Do the math, Quill. It spells nope. Oh uh, Can I not upgrade anything? If I had a unit more. for every minute of my time, you waste there. All set. Anything else? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> Yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humi butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't Roar. be bothered to make no you sacrifice. For the I star will system. sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek to guys. Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. 
Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the question. Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fim Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely Go scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. I'm not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. Next time, um. I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all oh, complaining. Wait, um, Happy? Because I still don't. Hey, Starpants, do you understand? No can do. Can't craft that, Quill. You need more parts, Quill. Hey, Glow. Doing, <laughs> doing. Done. Two sixty. Now think that was some quality crafting, if I might so say I'll so do myself. The, for now.
Um. What's that? Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Yeah, <laughs> brushing is where it's at. Brush out of that. Oh, I haven't been in here. This <laughs> probably drag things through. Uh, rockets, I guess. Maybe? Or the Morvus. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Group! Hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Uh... Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What?! Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. Do you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> So you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cool. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost, too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Go over here. 
I hope y'all like walking because this is gonna take a while. Well, you think I'm glad we landed this far uh, from the fortress? Wait. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Are we going? Because I'm ready. Okay. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Uh, okay. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Of course, it had to be raining. I bet okay, we could have made I some money if we stopped by now. nowhere first. Will you please? Positivity. Hey, here we go. How? We're on some crazy hurricane. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. And it's not a castle, lady. War lady. Additionally, no so how do we confiscate your crate. Ask Peter! Ha, yeah, that too. Let's I forgot. Let's just about get that. closer. Do you need we'll a hurry? out on the no. way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. <laughs> hey. Neglected to mention this fire lived in the middle of a floor monsoon. Ouch! Mm, the sliding hey, is path. my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk. We'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team Mikey trip! That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Of course, they've been wondering. Uh, I'm watching this. Enjoying enjoying the stream at all. Feel free to Talk drop us a like and a subscribe. Maybe share the stream out. I'll Would be awesome as well. I agree. The bottom um, way looks drier. Oh, shit. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. The we space lady help in this uh, range. Head off. So you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand uh, the underlying shoot, value. Shoot, don't. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender is a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady H is so powerful, why does she live on this scut ball? Um, concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. Where are you from ain't what matters, Meathead. It matters to Lady Hellbender. Okay. Ooh. That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this. Yes! Oh. Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get thrown right off! Good advice! Okay, oh, yeah. Oh. I thought you lived for danger. Fun. Yeah, keyword live. If any of you die, I'm going to Whoa! I ever mentioned how much... Ah! Oh. 
Oh no! Ah! Time. Like big red jelly. Red jelly. Jello, jelly thing. Oh, come on. Mm. Smash his insides! This is general life and 
Gun that and wait, is this stuff? Oh, find me that one, Destroy the course and Oi! Hey, another one I do. Oh, um, 
Seems like the blue ones on there. Ah. 
No. Oh, damn it. Ah! Shoot. It's the blue one. Oh. 
Oh, oh damn it. Oh. God, man. Not doing too good here. Oh. Oh, there we go. My blows bounce off the jelly. Oh.
Come on. Hey, um. Oh man, why would they have slaves in them? Watch it, Spike! Guys, huddle up! Uh. Uh. Oh, let's see. I fought a ton of cheating scum nuts in my time, Quill. Same here. But the way these creeps cheat is flarkin' criminal. They keep it up. They're gonna win this fight in no time. Mm. Guys, stop then, folks. We're team. Cheating creeps can win against. Next time, just show me your lights. Oh, what? The Blobby's got a knife. Yeah. Took too long. <laughs> I think we might be getting there finally. Brace yourself. Damn. Ooh. I'm going to get mud in my throat. I'm sure the rain will take care of that. Stay away from its sharp edges. They're outside to regenerate. Smash it inside. Just some general life advice. Oh. Oh, finally. I am sure that you That's have what a monster it. around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. We sort of do. Yeah. You look like. There's a trail going. Yeah. Let me save a clip here.